Well, the first one I picked out was the Ron Sale ad, uh, the three minute ad that completely filled a, filled a break. It's pretty bold to buy an ad, which is nothing other than a man painting a fence for three minutes. That, that, that's the sort of decision that careers are made and lost on to be fair. There's real courage and bravery through there. For me, it um, really illustrates the importance of detail. As you go through the ad, you've got the dog barking in the background. Yeah, that, that's, that's there for a reason and, and, and makes it real. You've got the, the, the guy takes a, a sip of cup of tea and you've got the beard on the mug, even though he's got a beard anyway, and you know, he's the one guy who doesn't need a, you know, a, a mug to give him a beard. Just, just, just beautiful touches. And there's a little bit of fence that yeah, it's kind of tantalising left and you kind of think, has, has he missed it or not? And it becomes a huge story in, in your mind. Just, just silly little points of detail that on a fairly vanilla canvas become the, the bits that really, that really, really make the ad. I think the Gogglebox audience is guaranteed to be talking uh, and watching the social space as well and it, it gives the best opportunity of that sort of thing going viral. It is just a perfect summary of what the Ron Seal brand is all about. It, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah, so the second one I've picked out is uh, the John Lewis Christmas spot from a few years ago, The Bear and the Hare. And you know, it's storytelling that features two characters that you can't help but associate with and, and really feel something for, and another key bit of, of great filmmaking. Um, and then for me, around those characters, is the, the, the depth and the texture in every single scene is fantastic. It means that at first, at first viewing, you enjoy it and it just feels right and appropriate and it, and it gives those characters even more strength and the story even stronger. But it means you can go back and look at it again and again and again and see different pieces each time. And of course it goes through that beautiful story to then land on, on a real truth that we can all recognise. You know, just that fantastic feeling the first time somebody does experience Christmas. And then actually that feeling that's repeated again every time you put the Christmas tree up, that, that sense of magic. And of course the fact that that magic is so much better when it's shared with somebody else. It's just, it's just beautiful. You know, I, I love Christmas and, uh, and it, it reminds me of like a, a really warm towel when you get in the bath on a cold night. It kind of wraps you up and just makes you feel really comfortable because you've got, got the familiarity of the sand and yet it's all fresh and new and, and I just kind of want to indulge myself in it for, for as long as I possibly can. So the third ad I picked out was uh, PG Tips The Return, uh, the, re the reuniting of Al and Monkey. Stand and deliver! Hello, Al. You back? Any chance of a cuppa? It's, it's full of those moments that, that keep you interested in the, in the film, you know. That, that moment where Monkey thinks about where he's been and there's a Wah! on the front of the lorry and, and, and the, 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 the look of fright on his face then comes back in the room and around a cup of tea is all those rituals here you know, and they're talking about a monkey having his tea stirred backwards three times forward twice and one and three quarter spoons of sugar in it that's doing two things it's reminding you about the rituals that go with the cup of tea that make that special moment but it's also the fact that Al knows that that's how monkey has his tea and of course for me it's just got that brilliant ending Brilliant. I thought we could make a fresh start. Get back into the advertising game. To one man and his chimp. Not chimp, Al. Monkey. What on earth? I let the big room out to that Cavill Decker from Tapau. Does she play the tune often? I quite like it, actually. <laughs> me too. Uh, I mean, where did that come from? I've got no idea. But for me, it, it guarantees I've finished that ad with a real good smile. It's brilliant. Brilliant. And it's very best. TV advertising puts a thought into people's heads that they just have to talk about. It's got the ability to, to move uh, a nation. When you bring together the scale of the reach that you can get with TV advertising, with really engaging content, you end up with a commercial and a thought that's as unavoidable as it is compelling. I love it. Every one of those three ads has got little details that connect you to the film, to the brand, more strongly than, than if they weren't there. There is this other thing as well, I like an end line. In all three of those ads, you could have written the end line for those ads and you'd end up somewhere near where the creatives did because the story has been told so well. The story that you're being told is true to the brand and therefore you, know, you could actually sum it up yourself. Uh, and for me, that, that ends up being a really big thumbs up for the quality of the, the piece of work you're looking at. I'm getting tired and I need someone to rely